OK, so we are going to begin with the topic name is fraction. So what what we are going to learn over here? Okay. This is very important topic. Now fraction will be in the form of suppose if I'm writing A by B, okay, where B not equals to Z2. Okay. This is the form. Now, for example, if I'm going to write 2 over 3, so if I'm going to write 1 over 3, if I'm going to write 5 over 7, if I write 1 by 2, so all the values, you can see there is a whole number. This one, the upper one, is called numerator. Okay? And this is called denominator. Okay? Now, if I say that any values has been represented as this, okay, fraction, and if you find that this values is still divisible by some number, like two, 10 can be divisible by 2, 12 also can be divisible by 2. So, 2 fives are 10, okay, and 2 six are 12, then 5 times 2 and 6 times 2, right? So we can just cancel two and two and we can get this five by six. This is called simplified form. Okay. Okay. Any values? Suppose I'm going to take suppose another number, 100 over 300. So this can be divisible. That means zero, 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 zero can be canceled and it is one by three. So this will be simplified form this is called simplified form and in the part of fraction now we are going to discuss about operations in with fractions okay okay operation in the first operation we will go start with rearrangement okay now rearrangement is what what is meaning of rearrangement there are two ways of rearrangement. One is least to greatest. We call them ascending order. Okay. List to greatest. We call them ascending order. And greatest to list. That is called descending order. Okay. For example, how we are going to do that? To do that, we need to have, we need to know that what how you are going to equate or you can say equating denominator okay equating denominator for example if i am going to say 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by some other values also there suppose i am taking two values only 1 by 2, 1 by 4, which one is bigger and which one is smaller? How are we going to get to know? How do you know about this? The process is you have to know how you are going to make equal denominator. Now you have half 1 by 2 and you have 1 by 4. You know that if I multiply 2 with 2, it will become 4. So I can write this one as 2 by 4 and I have another values that is 1 by 4. Now both denominator are 4, correct? Now yeah. you have the yeah. value, you have the value that is 2 here, 1 here. So which one is bigger between 2 and 1? 2. 2 is bigger. So that means 2 is bigger means 2 by 4 will be bigger. And from where you have got 2 by 4, you have got it from 1 by 2. So your 1 by 2 value is bigger than the 1 by 4. So if I'm going to add rearrange for least to greatest, I will write 1 by 4 first, then I will write 1 by 2. In case of greatest to least, I will write 1 by 2 first, then 1 by 4. Is it clear? Yeah. Good. Next type of operation we are going to start that is called addition of fraction.
Okay. So how to do addition of fraction? This is also same method of equating denominator. Suppose I have one by three plus one by six. Okay. So first work. What you have to do? You have to equate the denominator. You know that three times two is become six. So now the new fraction after the multiplication will be two by six plus one by six. So you can make. Six as LCM, we call them LCM means least common multiple, and two plus one, so that will be three over six. Three over six means you still you can simplify three one three three two six. So your final answer will be half one by two. Okay, another example. If you are going to take another example, suppose we are going to take another example as. One by four plus one by three. Okay, there is no value. So multiply with four to get three. There is no value. Multiply with three to get four. So in that case, what we have to do, we will do as a LCM. LCM is like this: four and three. So four and three is divisible. Four is divisible by two, but not divisible by uh, for three. So one. So sorry, for three, three will be same. Okay. Now, what will be the LCM? Two into two into three. Okay, so two into two into three is twelve. So you have to make the denominator as twelve. How are you going to make twelve? Four three is a twelve. So I can multiply here three to make it twelve, and three four is twelve. So I can multiply here four to make it twelve. So I will get now three over twelve. Plus four over twelve. So now I have same denominator. So I can do one thing: twelve over here, and three plus four. I'm going to get seven over twelve. Is it clear? Can you do it one more time? Yeah, of course. Uh, I said that when this value is like previous question, there was a value like three and six. We know that three times two is six, but in this case, four and three are two different number. Okay, we do not have anything to multiply with four to get a three, or do not have anything multiply with three to get it four. So in that case, what you have to do, our process of to do that. We are, what you are going to do? We are just going to make LCM. LCM is coming four and three. So four and three. How you are going to get four and three? So you can write two two is a four, but there is no divisibility by two. So three will be as it is. Or you can do like this more two one two three as it is. Okay, and three one one. So now in the below one, that that's the This is one, so it cannot go forward. So your LCM will be LCM will be multiplication of these values. So two times two times three. So we will get twelve. Now what do you have to do? You have to make this denominator. What is this? This denominator as twelve. So to make this denominator, denominator as twelve. Now this denominator, how are you going to make twelve? You know that this is four, so four times three is twelve, correct? So what I did, I have multiplied over here by three, and this one is three times four is twelve. I did, I multiply here four. If this is the process just to ensure your uh, working working to get same or equal denominator then the denominator equal so you can take 2 all of the lcm and just numerator and numerator you can add it you are going to get 7 over 12 okay now is it fine yeah okay now Now we are going to do some question of subtraction. It is important. So subtraction 
Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Subtraction. What is subtraction? Suppose one by six minus one by two. Okay. So what you have to do? Okay. Now, now let me take opposite way. Suppose I'm going to take it as one by two minus one by six. So two and three, if you multiply, you're going to get six. Yes. Do you agree with me? Yeah. Okay. So what I can do, I can multiply here three because we have to equate the denominator. So we're going to get three over six minus one over six. So now you can put six as LCM. 3 minus 1, that means 2. 2 over 6 means 1 over 3, right? So this will be your answer. Is that clear? So each and every time, you have to keep a focus that you have to make equality of the denominator. You have to make... You know one more time? Yes. See. This is 6, right? If you multiply 2 times 3, we're going to get 6. So what I did to equate the denominator, I have multiplied here by 3. Okay? I multiply by 3. So I got it now. There is 6. There is also 6. So now 6 is LCM. 3 minus 1. So 2 by 6, 1 over 3. Okay. Okay. So this is the way how we are going to do subtraction and addition of fraction. Okay. Now we are going to, I'm going to assign some problem that we're going to solve. 